Transporter 2, 2005 Frank Martin, played by Jason Statham, has moved from southern France to Miami, Florida. As a favor, he temporarily takes on the role of chauffeur for the affluent Billings family. The marriage of Jefferson, Matthew Modine, and Audrey Billings, Amber Valletta, is strained due to the demands of his high-profile government job. Frank forms a bond with their son, Jack, Hunter Clary, whom he transports to and from elementary school in his new Audi A8W12. Audrey, somewhat intoxicated, visits Frank's home and attempts to seduce him, but he diplomatically sends her away. Frank gets ready for the visit of Inspector Tarconi, Francois Berlind, his detective friend from France, who has come to spend his holiday in Florida with Frank. During a medical checkup for Jack, Frank discovers just in time that imposters have killed and replaced the doctor and receptionist. A prolonged confrontation ensues between the villains, led by Lola, Kate Nada, and the unarmed Frank. Although Frank manages to escape with Jack, a phone call alerts him that they are being targeted by a sniper capable of penetrating the car's bulletproof glass. Frank is compelled to allow Lola into the car, and they speed away with Jack, evading numerous pursuing police cars. They arrive at a warehouse, where Frank meets Johnny, Alessandro Gassman, the ringleader of the operation. Frank is ordered to leave without Jack. He discovers an explosive attached to the car and succeeds in removing it prior to detonation. Jack is returned to his family after the payment of a ransom, but unknown to them and Frank, Jack has been injected with a deadly virus that will eventually kill anyone who the child breathes on. Suspected by everyone except Audrey of being one of the kidnappers, Frank tracks down one of the fake doctors, Dimitri, Jason Fleming, with Tarconi's assistance. Frank pretends to infect Dimitri with the same virus, then lets him escape. Dimitri panics and hurries to a lab to get the cure-killing tip-off, with Frank following behind. Frank kills Dimitri, but when Frank refuses to bargain with him, the doctor in charge of the lab hurls the only two vials containing the antidote out of the window into traffic. Frank manages to retrieve only one vial intact. Frank sneaks back into the Billings home and tells an already ailing Audrey what is happening. He uses the antidote on Jack. Meanwhile, a coughing Jefferson, the director of National Drug Control Policy, addresses the heads of many anti-drug organizations from around the world at a conference. Frank drives to the house of Johnny, who has decided to inject himself with the remaining supply of antidote as a precaution. After dispatching Johnny's mini henchmen, Frank has the arch-villain at gunpoint. Johnny explains that a Colombian drug cartel is paying him to get rid of its enemies and that Frank cannot risk killing him, for his death would render the antidote unusable. Then an armed Lola shows up, leading to a Mexican standoff. Johnny leaves Lola to deal with Frank. Frank finally manages to kill her by kicking her into a wine rack with sharp metal points. Frank tracks Johnny, who is making an escape in his helicopter to a waiting jet. Using a Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster from Johnny's garage, Frank speeds to the airport and boards Johnny's jet by driving onto the runway and climbing onto the jet's nose gear. Frank gets into the interior of the plane and confronts Johnny, who pulls a gun on him. When they wrestle for it, a round kills the pilot and the plane crashes into the ocean. Frank incapacitates Johnny by paralyzing him, rendering him immobile while preserving the antidote in his system, then pushes his captive and himself out of the sinking plane. Boats converge to pick them up. The Billings are given the antidote. When Frank visits them in the hospital, before entering their room, he sees them with Jack, who is joking with them. He silently walks back to his car, where Tarconi is waiting. He drops his friend at the airport. Alone, Frank receives a call from a man who needs a transporter.